Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,429. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, either the start file or finish file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1420, we saw how to use Power Query to rank. Back in Excel Magic Trick 1419, we saw how to use the DAX function rank X to rank. And below 1420, Awesome online teammate Bement at YouTube posted this amazing video right here. Now, back over in 1420, we ranked, but we used sorting, grouping indexes, and custom columns. Bement said, hey, why not just use, yes, the index and grouping, but use the min function for shorter code and fewer steps? So we want to see how to do that. Now we're going to dump our report right here. And we're going to use the same data set that we did back in 1420. Here are the credentials if you need to log in. The data is already loaded into this workbook, but you may need to log in when you refresh. Now we're going to go up to Data. And I've already started the query, so in the Queries and Connections, I'm going to click Queries and Connection button. If you have an earlier version of Power Query, you'll have to click the Show Queries button. And of course, I'm using Excel 2016, so the Data Ribbon tab, Get and Transform, Queries and Connections, that's all Power Query. Earlier versions like Excel 2010 and 13, you have to download Power Query. All right, so I'm going to click this button. Now, Rank Units, Index Group, and Min, that has the table we can use to start our ranking. So I'm going to double click to open up the Power Query Editor. Here's our two columns, Product and Quantity. Now, before we get to ranking, we actually need to group by the Product column so we can get a unique list of products and add all the quantities. So in Home, we can go to Group By. Transform, we can go to Group By, or we can right click group by. We want to group by product. The column title will be total units. Tab, I'm going to down arrow and then up arrow. We want to add using the sum function, tab, tab. Down arrow, we want to add using the quantity column, tab. Click OK. There's our grouping. Now, our first step is to sort. So I'm going to come up to total units drop down, sort descending. The biggest ones are on top. Now we add an index, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we go to Add Column. Index column, and I'm going to say From 1. There's our rank. Now back in 1420, I noticed that there was a group of three records with tied total units. The index gives us 7, 8, 9. And I thought to add an index for this group, 0, 1, 2, and then subtract the two columns, 7 minus 0, 8 minus 1. But Bement said, no, how about if we group by this column, we already have these three records together. So then use the min function on the grouped indexes, 7, 8, 9, and it will get 7 as the min for all three records. So with this column selected, right click Group By. Now, because we're grouping by total units, it will remove the product column, but no problem. For our first grouping, we're just going to group all the records together. So we'll call that All Records tab. And we'll down arrow to All Rows. Now, we don't have a column to act on because we're grouping all rows. Now we click Advance, and we're going to add an aggregation. We're going to call this rank. Drop down, there's min. And the column we're going to get the min from is index. Now when we click OK, there will be a table for each record. If we click on the first one, we can see our table down here with the original two indexes. But notice our new rank column has the min right there. And when I expand this column, that one will be repeated for both of the total units. Now, all we need to do here is expand, unselect everything, uncheck that. And the only column we want is we want product. 
So now we click OK. That is amazing. There's our 1, 1 and our 3, 7s. Much more efficient than the multiple step grouping an extra column back in 1420. Now we could move this if we wanted by simply dragging it to the left. Come up to Home, Close and Load. It will close as a connection. Now we can right click, Load to. I want to load this as a table. Existing sheet, that is correct. Click OK. And there we go. We get the same rank using min as we did back in 1419 and 1420. It's awesome hanging out on our online team. Thanks to Bemint at YouTube. There's his YouTube channel. He has some great videos. All right, we'll see you next video.